Welcome to the Software Carpentry screencast on databases. This screencast is on nesting queries. How do we find scientists that haven't been experimenting with time travel? Our first instinct might be to write a query like this. We would select the list of scientists who have run experiments and filter out those that have the time travel project. Unfortunately, this query doesn't give us what we want, since Ivan and Sophia have each worked on the time travel project, but have also worked on other projects as well. There are scientists who have worked on time travel projects, and there are scientists who have worked on other projects, and of course there are scientists who have worked on both time travel projects and other projects. The query we've just written is returning all of the scientists who have worked on projects other than time travel, but that includes scientists that have worked on time travel and other projects. Our original question was to find all of the scientists that had never worked on time travel. Let's look at the experiment table, but we'll sort the records by scientist and project. Our original query rejected rows where the project was time travel. But for scientists like Ivan, who have worked on other projects, their other project rows don't get filtered out, and so their names appear in the final result. The strategy for answering this question is to start with all of the scientists, subtract those scientists which have worked on the time travel projects, to get just the scientists that haven't been experimenting with time travel. To do this, we'll make use of nested queries. Finding all of the scientists who have worked on time travel projects is easy. We just find all of the scientists where the project name is time travel. Finding all of the scientists is also easy. What we want to do is somehow subtract or filter from these results, the results of our earlier query, all the scientists who worked on time travel projects. Our filter condition is where the login ID is not in, and then we list the scientists that we saw before. In SQL, we're able to nest one query inside of another to use its results in the filter conditions. Then we plug in our earlier query in parentheses. We can read this query as saying, fetch all of the scientists who have run experiments, but exclude them if they appear in the list of scientists who have worked on time travel. The pattern demonstrated by this query of selecting and then filtering based on the results of a nested query is a very useful one. I should note though that the nested query here is completely separate from the larger query. It just fetches a list of all the login IDs once and those login IDs are used by the larger query's filter condition as it inspects each record. But nested queries can also refer to the larger query they are embedded in. For instance, in our screencast on join, we asked the question, which scientists have worked on more than one project? Using nested queries, we can answer the same question in a different way. Let's first remind ourselves of who has worked on which projects. So we'll select the scientist, the project, and sort them by login ID and project. So we can see from these results that Best has only worked on one project, Diane Fossey has worked on one, so has Dimitri and Bantic and Herschel, but Ivan has worked on two projects, and so has Lomonosov, and so has Kovalaskaya. So these are the scientists we need to find. We can write a query that selects the scientists from the experiment table, where, and we want to filter out the scientists if they haven't worked on any other project. That is, in order to be included, they must have worked on another project. So we want to say where their login ID is in, and here we need a query that will fetch the other projects the scientist has been involved in. So we start with fetching the login IDs. but put a filter condition in so that the login IDs we fetch are those of the same scientist but have a different project. This is a different kind of nested query than we wrote before because the results of this query depend on which record is being processed by the outer query. Each time this WHERE condition is applied to a scientist, this subquery is rerun 
It fetches a list from the experiment table for that scientist and includes results only if that scientist has experimented in a different project. Nested queries can also be used in place of tables. That is, a nested query can provide the data source from which you select, filter, aggregate, and so on. For example, what if we wanted to know how many different projects each scientist had worked on? We can begin by finding the distinct list of projects each scientist has worked on. We want to count how many projects are listed here for each scientist. Since counting it as an aggregation, we need to use the results of this query as input for a separate query that does the aggregation. So we can nest this query as the source for a larger query by wrapping it in parentheses and putting it in the from clause. We want the scientist and the count of their projects, and we want to group these results by the scientist. Nesting queries like this is really useful if the data you want to write a query on isn't present in exactly the right form in the database. So there was no table in our database that showed just a list of scientists and the project they had worked on, but we could write a query to do that. That's this query right here. You can then nest that query in a larger query so as to use these results as the input for your larger query. In this screencast, we've introduced the idea of nesting queries. We've seen that you can nest a query to supply elements in a WHERE condition, and we've also seen that you can use a nested query in place of a table in the FROM clause.